bib and bub, the gumlut babes, just strike a faint note with present-day Australians. Between the wars, before the wireless, bib and bub blossomed, enjoyed an Indian summer in comic strips, and then faded from the Sunday papers some years ago. They are the creation of the late May Gibbs, whose story has now been told in a small film, an interview with May Gibbs. <laughs> May Gibbs speaking. I was born in Surrey, England, and came to Australia when I was four by a sailing ship called the Hesperus. And uh, we had a lovely trip out, and I remember it, even though I was only four. We went to various places, Adelaide and onto a, an island where we had a very rough time. My parents were wonderful. They were so happy together, and they were awfully good to us children. I could draw almost as soon as I could talk. So my father started me right off because he was a clever artist. May Gibbs, and the author of the film, is with me in the studio, Maureen Walsh. How was that put together, Maureen? Um... Hazel de Berg, uh, in 1968, interviewed a number of Australian artists and uh, the interviews were put in the archives. Um, in the, the, the mid-70s, when I was researching the May Gibbs project, someone said, did you know there was an inter interview in the, in the archives in Canberra? I said, no, I didn't, but I'd definitely go and get it now. Uh, that, that one is available on VHS and Beta uh, with a stereo soundtrack, and I gather it's also available for cinemas. Yes, I am run it on, at the Dendy Cinema for all friends and folks on uh, Sunday the 27th of July. Now look, <clears throat> you and I are sort of a similar generation. I grew up with the Banksia men and I was not frightened by them, I might mention. Does a kid today know anything of May Gibbs' work? The children, uh, I think uh, it was last year they did a, a sale on the Australian children's authors and they sold about 100,000 of the Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie books good, through it? the post box. That's good, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. I, has any flack ever been, what do you do with flack? Do you show it or throw it or whatever? Has there been any flack over the fact that these little Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie and all the other lot didn't have any pants on? Um, somebody, there was a librarian in, in South Australia, I believe, had some complaint about it, but uh, usually that points to the person that's making the complaint rather than the subject matter. It's quite true. I found that rather endearing, but the bank, get to the banks here, man, mainly because I remember them well. I was never frightened by them. I was fascinated because they looked like banks here, man. Tell me what you think of them. I love them. Always love them. I was a kid in the bush. They never ever scared me, but they did scare a lot of people. And I ha have done a number of interviews with uh, some luncheons. And usually the questions say, any questions? Well, what about the Banksy men? Well, what about the Banksy men? Well, they really scared me. No, they really scared me. Don't they scare you more? No, they don't scare me. I said, they sit up there in the trees. May says, they sit up there in the trees and they don't do anything to the children, do they? Anyway, I've got a little addition to that. So I said to the people, do you realise that Banksy men, once upon a time, were really blossom babies? And look what happens to you when you get old. Oh, that's charming, isn't it? Thanks you so much. <laughs> right, um, you say that May Gibbs keeps following you around. What do you mean by that? I think she spooked me. I came back from Canada about 69, and she died that year, within months of me coming back. Um, it kept coming back to me, this dear lady, the comics had disappeared, nothing had been done about her work. I work in the film industry and we do spats of uh, lots and lots of work where we earn money and then we're out of work for, and that's when we develop all our good ideas. Okay, on this, uh, might as well cover all the good ideas because there's only a very small part of it. This is this little documentary, the 10 minute one. What other things are you working on? Um, I've now done the interview with May Gibbs, which is only May's voice on it. There's no yeah. other voice on it. Uh, that's being released uh, on through the schools and through the... Uh, I've got a number of orders, actually, and it's a big thrill when I go down to the letterbox Great. getting those. It's just nice. Money's always been attractive, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Boy, do I need some to catch up now. <laughs> what about um, animations? Then at, uh, in November, um, Petal Miller from the uh, Australian Opera... Uh, uh, not the, the Australian Ballet, I should say, contacted me and said, Maureen, what about doing a ballet on Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie? How do you do a ballet? Well, I didn't know, but I know now. I've done one. <laughs> well, I've adapted it. And uh, over about three weeks, I went down to the ballet. And who's um, done the music? We haven't done the music yet. 
feasibility study. I so would have thought the music came first. No, so. no, you've got to have a script. Start really? with a script. And what's next? Um, feasibility study, and I think that means can, can they get the money to yes, do it? Yes. We haven't heard about that. But uh, I'm giving some talks and that on the ballet, on the on the adaption that I've done, so that it gets everybody going. Will there be Banksy men in the ballet? Oh, absolutely! Of course, how silly of me! Star. What a stupid thing to say! Oh, wonderful surprise with the Banksy men! That's marvellous. You, you know what it did? Looking at that book again, I started reading it and realised that I really hadn't changed over the last twenty years. All the memories just come back. Marvellous. It's nice to meet you, and I hope the ballet goes well. And I hope you get some good music which isn't too atonal. You know how the modern um, composers are. Yeah, well, I might have to look that up. But yes. yes. We'll make sure that's not in it. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen Walsh. And um, the interview with May Gibbs is available, as I mentioned. But more importantly, uh, May Gibbs is not going to die after all. And don't be afraid of the banks of your men. They all started off like I did in this business. And now look what's happened. This is Newsworld, and I'll creep back in a couple of minutes.